Hello everyone. Good morning all of you. Welcome to you all in today's third online lecture of chapter number 5. And the name of chapter number 5 is The Way the World Looks. This is our last lecture of chapter number 5. Now, today we are going to study some sums regarding the direction then some question answer regarding map and then we have to study match the two different views do you know what is the meaning of opposite side let us see if two lines do not have a common end point then that line is known as opposite side see in this rectangle you can see there are four corners there are four vertex this vertex is known as the end point of particular line now you see what is the opposite side what is opposite side if two lines do not have a common end point means the two lines which not intersect each other two lines not meet each other then it is known as opposite side so this is the opposite side now let us see this is the dice and the sum of the opposite side of a dice is always 7 you just see here if the one face of dice the opposite and 5 it is 7 so the sum of the opposite side of a dice is always 7 opposite side of top view is bottom view so we can say top view and bottom view are opposite side then opposite side of front view is the back view so we can say front view and back view these both are the opposite of each other then both the side is already opposite to each other so we can say both the side view is already opposite to each other for example if there is a number 6 on a front side on the front view then on the back view you can see there is a number 1 so now what is and the total of this dice is the sum of the total the opposite side of that dice is 7 so there is some pairs of some number 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so if there is a number 6 then compulsory in the opposite side of that dice is number 1 then 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so we can say if any view of the dice is number 5 then the opposite side of that 5 is always 2 and then after 3 plus 4 you can see here in the top side there is a 4 number 4 so what is the number in the bottom view in the bottom side so which number you have to add in 4 then you get 7 so it is a 3 so we can say 3 in the bottom view so 3 and 4 this both are the opposite side 2 and 5 is also known as opposite side and 1 and 6 also known as opposite side now let us see this is the dice which number was on the opposite side of 5 that already we studied number 2 how it comes we know that the sum of the opposite side of a dice is 7 okay so your number 1 is 5 
So, which number add in 5? Then you get 7. So, it is number 2. Then, in picture, which number will be at the bottom? So, you just see, on the top, they were given number 1. Which number you have to add in 1? Then you get number 7. So, you can say number 6 in the bottom view. Which number will Ghibli see if she turns left from number 5? First, Ghibli is on the number 4. Then she moves across turn left so she reach on number 5 now again she moves again she turns left from number 5 so which is the number she, she reach she reached on number 1 now you see what will this box look like if you open it and mark the correct picture here they were given the four different different net patterns net pattern means what when you open anything at that time you can see the patterns how that thing is made that known as net pattern so here they were given the four different different boxes to you and from this four which one is the correct you have to tell so it looks like a dice so you just see top view and the middle view otherwise we can say we just see the side view and from that side view we know that which is the correct both the side view are opposite to each other that already we studied so in a first figure the opposite side is 5 and 2 then in second figure opposite side is 6 and 5 then in figure C opposite side is 2 and 6 and then again in the figure D opposite side is 5 and 2 so you just see here we know that in a dice the sum of the opposite side is 7 so in figure B and C the sum of their opposite side is not 7 so we can say figure A and D now from this both figure which one is the correct because in both the side view they were given number 5 and 2. Now see what is the opposite side of 1. Okay, so the opposite side of 1 is 6. So the sum of that both number is 7. So in which figure from A and D the sum of opposite side is 7. So you see here in figure D there were given number 1 and 6 both together so this is not the opposite side now which one is the remaining the remaining figure is a so which one is the correct picture a is the correct picture of box now see the direction in our previous lecture we already studied that when we move upside, there is north direction. When we move downwards, there is south direction. When we move left hand side, there is west. And when we move right hand side, there is a east. Please remember this thing because with the help of this thing we have to solve some sums. Let us see the direction sums. Kishan walked 20 meter towards the north. Then he turned the right and walked 30 meter. 
then he turns right again and walk 35 meter then he turn left and walked 15 meter finally he turns left and walk 15 meter in which direction is he now so let us see kishan start his journey from this point okay now he walked 20 meter towards the north where is the north when we move upside there will be a north so he just move 20 meter towards north then after after reaching there he turned right so this is the right side and by 30 meter after reaching there again he turned right side and walked 35 meter after reaching here he just move left hand side 15 meter and finally again when he reached there he also turn left hand side and walk by 15 meter now in which direction is in which direction is he now so we can say right now he is in the east direction let us see one another sum krishna walks 5 km towards the south and then turns to the right hand side after walking 3 km he turns to the left and walk 5 km now in which direction is she now in the last so if she start her journey from this point then she walks 5 km towards the south and as we know south lies in the down by 5 km when she reached here she turns right and how much kilometer 3 km when we she reached here she also take left turn by 5 km now in which direction she is in the last so we can say still now she is in the south direction now match the two different views of the same pose this is the top view of a girl in a yoga pose now from these four different different pose you have to tell which one is the correct so just see observe this and tell me which one is the correct yoga pose of this girl we see that the girl in the figure is stretching her right arms in the yoga pose. Now you see in the third and in the fourth she stretch her left arm so that both is the wrong. Now from the first and second you have to see which one is the correct pose. So we can say number first is the correct image of top view. So first photo among the given photos matches with the yoga pose. Therefore the first photo is the correct match. Now as you know already there was one park behind the Gappu's house okay now let us see this image and solve the following question your first question is do you know the park behind the Gappu's house yes we already know that there will there was one park behind Gappu's house here is a big picture of that park Look at it carefully and answer the following question. Your first question is, which gate is nearer, nearest to Gappu's house? So we can say gate C. You can see here the pink one is the Gappu's house. 
so which gate is nearer to his house so we can say gate c your another question which gate is nearest to the sweet shop you see here in the opposite direction of gappu's house there is a one sweet shop and which gate is nearer to sweet shop we can say gate a if you enter from gate b means gate b is in the south direction the green bench will be your there is one green bench you can see that bench and when you enter from gate b the green bench will be your left right or a front side so we can say that green bench will be our left side let us see one another question when suhasini entered the park the flower bed was to her right hand side which gate did she enter from when suhasini entered in the park right side flower flower bed was there so from which gate she enters so we can say she enters from gate d because in the right hand side always west direction is there so she enters from the north direction and in the north direction which gate is there so in the north direction there is gate d another question which is nearest to you if you enter from gate c now gate c you see nearer to the gappu's house basketball court flower bed green bench or seesaw so we can say seesaw is the nearest to gate c i hope you all understand these all things very easily so please do hard work and complete your assignment okay thank you all of you